How are we doing guys and the international break is finally over and Premier League action is returning this week. Now, little subject that got me thinking, um, it's got me thinking for quite a while now, but in particular of late, it's really came to the forefront. And if you believe some of the breaking news um, over the last 24 hours or so and that Arsenal are, you know, going all in for Alexandra Isak from Newcastle. Um, it's left me asking the question. Now, the two players in particular that I'm going to speak about here is um, obviously Victor Yorkerez um, and then obviously Alexandra Izak. And um, two Swedish players, one's 25, one's 26, both strikers, both score goals. Who would be the better fit for Arsenal? Now, Right now, when you look at your Jerez and you look at his statistics and the way that he's scoring goals, it's very easy to sit there and say, sign him. All day long, sign him. He is having a phenomenal season at Sporting. 16 goals in the league, five in the Champions League, a hat-trick against Manchester City. When you watch him and his pace, his power, his finishing... He is absolutely ruthless. Now, when you look at Alexander Izak, again, he has pace. Despite his slight frame, should we say, he has power. Very good in the air. Contrary to what some people believe, um, he's not small. 6'4". And it's about who would be the best fit for Arsenal. And I see so many people talking without actually thinking and using any logic. Now, with um, Yorkerez, right? The issue is here. The style of play that we play and the lack of space he will have in the majority of Premier League games that we play. Now, this is not specific to the Premier League. It's about... Us as a club and the way that teams sit up and play against us. Our style of play and the way that teams sit up against us means that there's not a lot of space in behind. If you had someone like him in your team, there would be even less space in behind because they know that would be much of a threat and they would go even more all out to nullify it. How many times do we sit here and complain about low blocks? We sit here and complain about how teams sit deep. I don't feel that Yorkerheads would actually fit our system. I genuinely do not believe that he would be the right signing for Arsenal. And if you look at it logically, and if you look at it, you know, with an open mind and with understanding of how we play, you will see... He's not suited for us. Now, I look at teams in the Premier League, teams that probably don't come up against sides, um, you know, that play in a similar way against Arsenal. Teams don't seem to play that way against Liverpool, for example. They seem to be able to have a lot of space in behind. They play very counter-attack. Um, they're very much a 100 miles an hour team. And we've seen it a lot where they break so quick and they've got so much space in behind. So Liverpool, that could be a club where he would flourish. Um, maybe a Manchester United. Um, but teams like us and Man City, we don't get left a lot of space in behind. Now you look at Erling Haaland and he's perfect in a way for Man City because he scores the majority of his goals in the box. It's not running in behind or anything. It's in the box. It's being able to be effective in the most dangerous areas. But, yeah, I just don't know how he would fit. I genuinely just don't think that he would fit the system that we play. And we're not going to change our whole entire system for one player because then everybody else falls out of line of the system. Do you know what I mean? So... I look at Alexandra Izak and I feel that he is somebody that could fit our system very, very well. 
Um, I feel he can play that false nine. He can move out of that position and rotate with other players, which is very evident that we like to do. Hold up play is good. The link between other players is good. And when he gets into, you know, those dangerous areas, he can put the ball in the back of the net. He's got pace. And I just feel that he offers something very different and something that could well take us from here to there. Both exceptional footballers. But this is not about who's scoring the most goals. And it's very easy to sit there and say, he's scoring the most goals. We must sign him immediately because that's not how it works. It's about the system that you play. It's about how teams set up against you and... Will he be able to, you know, use those same strengths that he's showing at Sporting, you know, for Arsenal? When I watch their games and I look at the amount of space he has to run into, even the Man City game, and I know people will say, whatever Premier League team and everything else, Man City predominantly never set up with low blocks against teams or anything like that. They're a very expansive side and they will attack you and... They will leave space. It's just that he absolutely loves exploiting space. Um, so, yeah, I just don't feel that he would fit Arsenal's system. I feel if you had to give me the choice now, I would take Alexandre Izak. Premier League ready as well. You don't know how your careers would adapt to, you know, life in the Premier League. You've got to remember, he's played in England before. He actually played for Brighton only a handful of games. Um, but majority of his games were for Coventry City. Statistics, you know, didn't set the world alight, shall we say. Um, but listen, there's no doubt in what he's doing now, and statistically he's on absolute fire. But I just don't feel he sits, you know, and suits Arsenal's system. I just don't think it. I feel that if you're going to, you know, look to strengthen in that area in January, which we very much look like we are wanting to do and we need to do. I just can't see any better option than Alexandra Isak. And I feel that we can go to a club like Newcastle. And if you pay the right amount of money, you get the player. And this is no disrespect to Newcastle. But Newcastle are absolutely nowhere near Arsenal in the scale of football clubs with anything. It doesn't matter if you beat us the odd time or whatever it might be. The level of Newcastle and the level of Arsenal as football clubs, please. Isaac would hands down leave Newcastle for Arsenal without a question of a doubt. He would leave Newcastle for Arsenal and I just feel it makes sense and this deal would be the right deal for Arsenal and I feel he fits our system he can go straight in there and do the job that we need and he can be a goal scorer a finisher and do so much um, so yeah listen it's an interesting one like I said they're both um, teammates um, for Sweden um, you know, Isaac's the youngest. He's 25 years old. Um, Jokerez is 26 years old. Um, so listen, they're the right ages, shall we say. Um, Isaac has only just turned 25 in September. So, um, you know, he's definitely on that right side of the age bracket, shall we say. Um, It'd be so interesting to see what happens. I think the only problem is, is that clubs know that Arsenal want a striker. The market goes up and that's the only issue with dealing with a club like Newcastle in the Premier League. Whereas your Carrez has got a release con uh, clause in his contract. So um makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? But yeah, um, I'd be interested to know what you guys think. Who would you have? Think about what I've said about who fits into the system right. Will your Carrez get the kind of you know, freedom of the pitch, shall we say, that he gets, you know, uh, his level that he's at now. I don't think he will. I genuinely don't think he will. Um, 
And listen, even in the Champions League, we say that he scored five goals and everything. But how many times have I sat here and said that in the Champions League, you hardly come up against teams with low blocks and you come up against teams that want to play football and come against you. And that's where the likes of Saka and whatnot can enjoy themselves because they've got people doubling up on them. Um, unless you're into Milan, of course, then they all double up on him. Um, but listen, I'd be very interested, like I said, to see what everybody thinks. Who do you want? Um, Victor uh, Jokerez or Alexander Isak? Very simple. What's your choice? Let me know in the comments section. So um, preview for Nottingham Forest is coming out in the next coming days. And uh, we're going to be starting to do watch alongs uh, for the Arsenal games. I can't wait for that. Oh, oh, I'm so glad they weren't watch alongs for some of our recent ones. <laughs> oh, memes galore. But hey, listen, it is what it is. Football's a passionate game at the end of the day. And um, yeah, there we go. Oh, who's that? No. No, no transfer news, nothing happening. Um, yeah, so there we go. That is it. Um, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video. And I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.